Yo, what is up guys, Ultra Balls back with another Snake Draft final game. Uh, this is an OU game between Eternal Spirit and Bam Manaphy. Uh, look at the teams real quick before they get started. So, Eternal Spirit's team is... I think it's it's one mon different from one of those teams that was spammed during OLT. Uh, I believe on that team it was a Banded Weavile over Greninja. And on that team it was Z-Move, Kirim, uh, Scarf, Lando, SD Scizor. So I guess we'll see how different this team is than that one. But like I said, it's five out of the same six mons. So... It could, it could honestly just be like the same sets with Ashgren over Weavile or, or something like that. I don't know for sure, but that'd be my, my thought looking at it. I'd immediately think of that team. Uh, Bad Mana brings more, I guess, bulky offensive team, but I don't really like his matchup because I feel like Eternal Spirit has good checks for pretty much all of like Bad Mana's like, big threats. So like Bulu, like hard stopped by Scizor. Obviously, Keldeo hard stopped by uh, Feeny. Uh, Zygarde is checked pretty well with the combination of like Feeny, Scizor, and Lando. I mean, he's got like three things that eat hits from that pretty well. I guess the one Mon that looks like it could be problematic for uh, Eternal Spirit to switch into would be like a uh, Heatran, maybe depending if like depending on the set. But all right, we see uh, the lead here, Lando on Celestela. So I guess okay. So Eternal Spirit knocks off. Maybe this is Scarf. Then I would think it's probably Scarf. Like I said, that's what it was on the original team. And okay, it's not Scarf. It's just Rocks, but. It, you see, Bam Mana definitely thought that it was Scarf. That's why he went for the double each. But uh, Eternal Spirit, good first couple turns. Getting the knock on the steel is really nice, and also uh, getting the rocks up. If I, I would honestly just leech again if I was Bam Mana. Ooh, Earthquake trying to catch the Tran. That was also uh, that was a. I I'm surprised Eternal Spirit didn't go into Heatran there. I mean, he had the third eye on that one, I guess. <laughs> that was a really nice play by him going cure him. Uh, like, I, knowing that he, he's probably not heavy slamming, if anything, he was, like, leech seeding again, I guess. But, yeah, okay, so we'll see. Here, I guess you just went Fusion Bolt. Yeah, Fusion Bolt on the Tran, uh, and that is Life Orb. So he did change up the team a bit. It's not Z-Move Kiram. It is, uh, it's Life Orb. Uh, but, yeah, Bam Manaphy has, like, no actual real s switch -ins to this mon. <laughs> this thing just eats apart his team. He goes Latios here on Fusion Bolt. Uh, it did... Not very much at all. And now Eternal Spirit's forced out. He's probably... Okay, so he goes Scizor here. And it does turn out to be Mega Latios. So it pretty much confirms that the Keldeo is probably Scarf. That did a shit ton. That did a lot. 50. <laughs> now we see a Roost here though. Because you get the bulk when you Mega Evolve. Obviously like... Batman is not going to be able to even touch this thing at minus 2. So he gets a free... Eternal Spirit gets a free Roost here with the Scizor. Keeping it healthy. Now, like I said before, though, this Tran is problematic for Eternal Spirit to switch into. It's the one Mon. Like, I, he always has Feeny, right? But, like, if Feeny doesn't have a water move, it can't really do anything back to the Tran. Uh, but I think that's probably still his play anyway would be to go Feeny. And then if he goes Feeny, he just Nature's Madness is it down. Unless he has a water move. And if he has a water move, he's obviously going for that. Uh, you don't see Feeny much anymore, but the ones that I've seen have been carrying a water move. I think it's mostly because... Being, having, being a water type walled by Heatran is pretty bad. But there's a lot of things about Feeny that just aren't very good. Uh, <laughs> like, I don't know. I still feel like... Uh, I think I feel like people... I, I don't think it's good by any means. But I think people hate on it a little too much. Like, I mean, it's still fat as hell. And if you don't... Like, uh, Nature's Madness... Like, if you're, if you're using more of, like, an offensive team... Nature's Madness is actually a bitch to try and switch into. Like, you're just taking... Like, it's a, it's a very frustrating move to deal with if you don't have like a regen mon, like Pex or Tangrowth. Uh, if you don't have something like that, it's it's actually really annoying. And now we see you switch out, okay, yeah, into the Feeny. Uh, we'll see, he goes for rocks. Uh, so Feeny here could defog, or I guess if it has a water move, he could throw that out. But I would probably just defog. Uh, he just madnesses. I guess he's fine playing with rocks on both sides. I thought he might want the rocks off for the Kiram, but... I mean, I think this is fine. Yeah, like, Scizor is obvious here. He just horn leeches, but um, I probably would have tried to double on the Scizor. I, I think, I don't know, maybe go double the Tran would have been a nice play there for Bam Manaphy. He goes Keldeo. you would probably see a U-turn. Yeah. And I say we bring in the uh, the Feeny again here. Yeah, if, if Feeny ever goes down, like, Keldeo becomes a problem, but I don't see... I don't know. I don't think Feeny will ever go down because... Like, Bam Mana doesn't have good ways of really 
of really luring this or hitting this with good damage. It, it only has to come in on the Tran and on the Keldeo. And if this thing does have a water move, then it's going to take care of it. Like, the Trans can never stay in anyway. Oh, okay, so it does have... That's a dead Tran, if I've ever seen one. It did have the water move. And it's, it looks like Spadef uh, Tran on Bam Mana's part, which I, I don't like Spadef Tran just because Magma Storm is, like, so good. And Magma Storm is able to wear down, like, every single one of its switch-ins between Magma Storm or Toxic or whatever. You wear down every switch-in, like, super fast. And the only, like, decent water types that have, like, recovery, like Pex, just get trapped, right? So, that's why I just, I, I don't know. I feel like Magma Trans so good that I'd never want to use Spadef, even though I know Spadef is, like, decent. But, yeah, that, that's my thoughts on Tran. And now, he's probably going into the Bulu here, uh, and then... Eternal Spirits, obviously just going into Scizor, but like he doesn't even have a good double for Scizor. Like, I guess you go, uh, Steela, but Steela doesn't, probably doesn't have Flamethrower. We don't know that confirmed, but I'm assuming that it's, like, EQ over Flamethrower. I guess it could be, like, 3 attack Leech, or it could be no Heavy Slam, but I feel like no Heavy Slam would be really bad. Um, but yeah, now, I mean, Eternal Spirits is definitely going Scizor. He's really far ahead of this game right now, I feel like, and there's no reason for him to make any aggressive place so yeah now this bulu scared out by bullet punch but if i'm eternal spirit i'm definitely clicking bullet punch we see the keldeo come out uh but the keldeo is like getting chipped and like like i said this is always checked by the feeny so pretty much eternal spirit just has like a perfect defensive core for the team that bam mana brought like it's it's really hard for mana bam mana to break this uh yeah i don't really think he has a good like a good way to do that but if I'm Bam Manaphy here, I'd probably try and double into Bulu again. Uh, he does make the play, but like I said, this doesn't really... Okay, as... Wow, okay, I'm surprised Scizor stayed in there. Because uh, if Scizor got weakened, then Bulu becomes a huge problem. But uh, I guess this is a good place staying in, getting the defog off. So this team has been changed a decent amount. It might not have even been based off the same team, but it's just weird that five mons are the same. Because on the original team, the Scizor was SD, and then the Feeny was the defogger. I'm going to Lando here, but I don't really know what Lando's doing to this. Um, he just gets okay, just gets rocks up again. That's that's fair. Uh, we see Heavy Slam come off. I don't know exactly what this Lando would be. It could be like knock smack, but like if, if he was smacked down, you would have went for it before, right? So uh, I don't know by that damage. I guess it was intimidated, but like if it's not leftovers and it's not a helmet, so it's I don't think it's like defensive. I, I don't know exactly what it would be. Maybe we'll find out later on. Uh, now we go into Feeny again, and Feeny could just uh, throw off a Madness if it wants to. Um, that's probably what I would do. Yeah, throw off Madness. And like I said, like this way, against certain teams like this, like Madness is hard, to, is annoying to switch into, uh, for sure. That's what I mean. Like I don't think Feeny's like a terrible mon by any means. I just don't think it's super good at anything. It's just very average at everything it does. And we see the uh, Whirlpool and now the Nature's Madness. So it's going to be able to keep this uh, keep this Celesteela nice and low. Um, between the Whirlpool damage and the Nature's Madness, he's able to chip it down really low. This is if he wants to, like, sack this. Because this is one of the best things that he has going. F like, this is, like, his only good Keldeo answer. Uh, other than, yeah, after this goes down, Keldeo looks to be, like, a pain to try and switch into. Uh, but like I see he's far ahead of, he's far ahead enough that I don't think it necessarily matters so okay he goes to Gren on the heavy slam uh, we'll see what he does here I mean bad mana definitely doesn't want to stay in if this is and give this ash so he's probably gonna go Keldeo because I'm pretty sure I think yeah Keldeo is still healthy so he's just gonna go Keldeo here and uh, I think eternal spirit could just go for a spike if he has it or like dark po well wait what oh, is it Z move oh what the hell okay um to 17. <laughs> Wait, how does he beat this? HP Electric? <laughs> what is it? Get this off my screen. What is this? Oh, this is so hot. I like seeing cool things. I don't know. It's like Zygarde. There's no way E Speed doesn't kill this. Not with the defense boost. But, like, he doesn't have another play, right? Because he gets out, like, and it's HP Electric for the Keldeo, too. That's, that's damn hilarious. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's probably like Bolt Beam, and then, like, what would be the last move? I don't know. Because he's not HP Fire, so he has to be like Bolt Beam and like Hydro or something. Or like Bolt Beam Low Kick maybe for like Pharaoh and Tran and Tar. Bolt Beam Low Kick? I don't know. But this game's over, that's all I know. Damn, that's this really cool. I like seeing stuff like this, you know? It's funny. 
Seeing, seeing stats like this that people think are bad, putting in a lot of work, I, I enjoy that. It's fun seeing new stuff. And, wow, there's a 6-0. But like I said from preview, I'm pretty sure that like Eternal Spirit had like a pretty good matchup. Uh... Yeah, it just from preview. I thought, like I said, I thought like the def his defensive core looked to looked like it like fared really well against Bam Manaphy. Like that's what Mana was. Bam Mana wasn't able to break any of this. Like, he he had like a perfect answer to every single one of uh, Eternal or like Eternal Spirit had like a perfect answer to every one of Bam Mana's offensive mons. Like there wasn't even any predicting necessary. You just go into the mon that that walls. Um, Eternal Spirit brought this in SPL semis. Ah, okay, so this is an older team. So it just it just happened to be similar to the one that was used in OLT. It actually wasn't the same. Uh, it wasn't like based off the same team at all. Um, but yeah, uh, that team was spammed like crazy during OLT for ladder the Weavile over Gren team. Yeah. Even though like, it's weird because that team does well, but like I feel like it, it like on paper it seems weak to a decent amount of stuff. But oh, uh, click. Okay, Eternal Spirit waiting to click the final move. I think Bam Mana just wants to get this uh, get this loss over with here. And we finally do see the Ice Beam come out and end of the game. So Eternal Spirit wins the game. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to my man Dockerich. And until next time, Ultra Balls out. Peace.